Good morning. My name is Evan Smith. I'm the pastor at Second Presbyterian Church here in downtown Stanton, and I'm coming to you today for your daily video devotional. Today, we are in the book of 1 Peter. I'm looking at a couple of great verses, so much excellent stuff in this book. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 to 5. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By His great mercy, He has given us a new birth into a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. What what a great, great, great uh, way for Peter here to start his letter. He somehow, we've been given this new birth, into a living hope through Jesus Christ, and that we're going to inherit this this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, inheritance. I mean, there's there's, uh, there's no inherit the inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, unfading, kept in heaven for us. And, And these are so many of the promises of Christianity. But here's the thing. This newness of life, in my mind at least, like when I became a Christian, I remember thinking, Heaven was like, sure, it was great. This this side bonus, almost though, of being able to get to, to with to be with Jesus forever, because I experienced so much positive change in my life that I thought, wow, the blessings in this life are incredible. Like the blessings of God's peace and God's presence and all the ways that God moves in our lives now. Those things alone are amazing. And to realize that's just that's just a tip. That's just a little bit of the appetizer of what's coming compared to what is in store for us in heaven. And that that nothing's going to make it perish. It is not going to fade away. It is in perfect shape, held there forever by God for us. What an amazing promise. What an amazing thing to look forward to for inheritance. And, and so my encouragement to you today is to really pursue hard in the things of God that you can reap all the blessing of God in this life now because there is so much because that new creation thing, that's amazing. And God's Spirit has this way of being able to make us new every day. And if you feel like you need that, then come to God and ask for that. God, make me new again today. Help me to feel new again today. Help me to follow after you in new ways again today. But then also, Lord, plant the seeds of eternity in my heart that I long to be with you, that I long for heaven, and that I long to make this earth heaven on earth as I long for the day that Jesus comes back and restores heaven and earth, merging heaven and earth, in fact, together, because that's our true home. And that is your word for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click the like button. Maybe even share it on your own page. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and goodbye.